Hey yo, what's up everyone? Mr. Eric here, back with another Anchor's Letter video, and today we're playing someone by the name of JT Prog. Now, JT Prog is a Platinum 3 player from New Jersey, and today he is playing Ike. And we've struck it down to Lilat, so yes, let's get started. Because I missed a video on Monday, and um, shame on me, but I, uh, life did not allow it, so uh, it's all good. Had a good weekend, and uh, someone commented that I never go to the stage. I'm trying to remember who it was that said that, but so I decided to uh, go to the stage round one. Oh, jeez. And also, people have been asking, oh, when are they going to see Cloud in this series? Well, that answer is, I would say, kind of soon-ish. I'm about to put in a lot of work with Cloud, so yeah. Now, ab about the stage. Let's talk about the actual game for a second. This stage is like... It's just weird. It's just different than pretty much any other stage that's available to us. So that's one reason why it's like a default ban for most people. Even myself. I default to banning this. It messes up my angles on my lasers and messes up my gyro bounces. But it also gives me a new opportunity of angle lasers and gyro bounces. Like, I can use that property of hitting someone with a gyro and knowing which direction they'll go in when they get hit by it. Like, I can use that property by bouncing it off the ledge. Like, for example, if there's a slope, I'll, I'll demonstrate this in a second. I right know I'm kind of autopiloting and I need to stop before this gets nasty. Oh, I almost got a, almost got a quick capitalization there. Yeah, that's supposed to be a jump in an air dodge. Okay, see right, see right here? I threw it down and it started rolling off the stage. Okay, imagine if he was behind me there. If he was and it bounced to him, it would have hit him and brought him to me. I'll try to demonstrate what I mean. But, like, I can use the fact that the gyro travels to my advantage. And also, I think... I uh, hope that's, that's cute. I think that the stage is kind of small, blast sunwise, Which, I mean, that helps me. Now, I should have straight up just up smashed him out of shield. But that'll work. He almost crossed me up. Mm, probably because I power, I power showed him. But uh, I don't know. But I think I should have went for an up smash there. Had plenty of time to do it. But it is what it is. Now. I'm trying to down tilt to grab more. I'll make sure I get all my, uh, my, my double sticks. Oh no! Oh no! I don't know if he got lilated or if he just like miscalculated. I'm sure he miscalculated, but like maybe he was actually going to like catch the ledge, and then he didn't because you know the lilac stage it moved. I don't know. Either way, good game, dude. Let's see here. Go to chat. GG. Hmm. No snap. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if lilac was just being weird or what. <laughs> Um, so I'll get rid of, huh, actually the one stage I've been kind of against lately is FD, just because I like my platforms, FD and Smashville more so, because I like the platforms that are like, I don't know, above my head most of the time, well I like Smashville because it gives me like an extra recovery option, I'll, whatever, I'll just do this, and then, then I'll do, um, I've actually been staying away from this stage too. But I need to stay on these stages. We just played here, so I'll just get rid of that. And then, um... I'll allow him to, uh... Take me anywhere he pleases. That way, we get the most bang out of our butt. Because, you know, I use this site mostly to learn and practice. Not to just climb the ranks. Now, I want to climb the ranks. I do. But, um... My main focus, my main concern is just to just improve. And like I said, I will be using uh, other characters. Well, not other characters, but I'll probably be introducing Cloud to the series pretty soon. But I don't feel I don't feel like he's ready to showcase yet. Nor do I feel like I can play him com comfortably and commentate at the same time, like I can with Rob. Rob is like he's in my veins. He's in my soul. Like you know. <laughs> so we're waiting for him to pick his character. I'm assuming he's gonna go Ike unless he has someone else up his sleeve. Let's see. Oh, 3% corn, 0% Rosa. I guess he, like, played her once. <laughs> oh, he's not saying. Okay, whatever. Oh, it doesn't matter. He, he did say. Doesn't matter either way. Oh. Hi. 
That was, um, yeah, that was the wrong screen. Yeah, so that's what I get when I use the same software that I stream with, you know? Okay, well anyways. Awkward. Okay. So we're on one of my favorite stages, which is, you know, that's great. It's also one of Ike's best stages. Why? Mostly because of, you know, Sword being able to go through the platforms without him having to go through the platform. And the sword isn't a part of him, so that's called a disjoint. So if a move is disjointed, that means it cannot be hit. And if he can't be hit, well that's, you know, that's no good for me. Rob has a couple disjoints, but they're not nearly as good as, like, sword character disjoints. Oh, he, like, tried to do a cool tomahawk. Because I thought he was looking for a back air. And he thought that I thought that, I was look that he was looking for a back air. So he went for the grab, he just missed space. To, that's all. No, back air comes out fast, but... Oh, call him slipping. Now, back air comes out fast, but... Has a little bit of landing lag. Kind of the opposite of my nair. <laughs> comes out slow. Mm, trying to catch him there. I can catch him. I might be able to get, you know, some sort of gimp going. But I gotta hit him first. Gotta disrupt him a little bit, you know? Ooh. I've been messing up my uh, my turnarounds a lot. Now I am using a newer controller, so that could be a case. See, I'm turning around a lot, so that happens. That does happen. He was going for the hardest of reads there. Ooh, good game. Now that is a good 50-50 mix-up. I don't normally try it at that high percent with the rage. That's not something I normally go like go for, but where I call him on the side of me, uh, it doesn't sour spot as much. GG's. Let's see. Let's, let's get the right scene this time. Let's not show my ugly face again. GG's. Yeah, basically, like, I normally don't go for that kind of stuff. It's just more of a matter of, um, like, seeing what works in those situations. And I had a little bit of breathing room, so I was wanting, I was wanting to try it. So I used my full hop first. Got to the, the full extent, and then I went for the uh, the down air spike. Uh, Rob's up air seems really good. Yeah, it, it can be, yeah. Um, it lingers a lot, and it has a really strong ending knockback. And even when it doesn't, like, finish, like, it sucks people down. So, like, it's good damage. It brings you to me if it doesn't send you away, like, very far. So I think it's overall, it's a pretty good movie, except for the whole, like, extreme di like you could you could di like and survive like i feel like 30 percent sooner than normal if you like pop out on the sides but if you pop straight up you, you will die very soon but uh good games to jt prog sorry again guys that there was no video on monday um i can't i really don't have the time to make up for it and give you an extra video but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to leave a like comment or subscribe i'd really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video Rob Squad out. Uh, beat boot. <gasps> Points. Nice. All right. Bye, guys.